This week we're going to talk about magnesium. If you're in my Facebook group already, you would have seen a post this week about all the different types and forms of magnesium. Well, today we're going to talk about the eight different ways magnesium actually helps in menopause. I do have a few notes up here that I'm referring to uh, because there's so much information on magnesium. So the first thing is it helps regulate cortisol. It calms our nervous system and it, it, it prevents excessive cortisol. Our stress hormone system is also called our hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. This is um, our central hormone system. So when this functions well, all other hormones, the thyroid and reproductive um, hormones, they all function well too. So magnesium helps keep all of that whole system nice and calm and regulated. Pretty important, I think. Number two, it helps reduce blood sugar and normalizes insulin. You hear me talk about insulin all the time because insulin's the fat storage hormone. I don't know about you, but that was one of the first uh, signals I had that I was in menopause. I got this belly fat out of nowhere. Thanks, insulin. Um, so basically, it's effective at improving insulin sensitivity. And um, that means it is basically referred to as the natural metformin. Sorry, I've got this bug buzzing me. Um, which metformin is something that uh, is prescribed for people to help them with their insulin. So it's 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 called the natural metformin. Um, basically, healthy uh, insulin sensitivity means fewer sugar cravings, and it's effective for us uh, to be able to get rid of that menopausal belly fat or extra weight that seems to come on in menopause. It also uh, does support people in PCOS. So if that is you, then definitely look into magnesium if you haven't already. Um, the third thing is it supports thyroid. So magnesium is essential for the production of the thyroid hormone. Um, it's also anti-inflammatory, which helps to quiet the um, autoimmune inflammation that underlies most thyroid disease. Um, other ways to address thyroid autoimmune immunity uh, include gluten elimination and selenium supplementation. So that's something that you can look into. The fourth thing is it actually aids sleep and I definitely take magnesium every night before bed and I have for a while. I actually started taking magnesium as an athlete because it helps with cramps and things like that. Uh, but magnesium is a great sleep promoter and sleep is crucial for hormone production and just actually to function well as a human being, let's be honest. Um, so when we sleep, we should enjoy a surge of anabolic hormones such as DHEA and the growth hormone. So we need those. Um, and when we have disturbed sleep, everything gets thrown out of, you know, balance and that's no good. The fifth thing is it fuels cellular energy. Um, so it is helpful for our mitochondria and our mitochondria is where our energy is produced in the cell. So we want good energy. And I mean, I don't know about you, but energy is super important to me. Um, I'm just going to move that so I can see these notes here. Um, but basically, we all want to have great energy. So uh, it helps promote hormonal tissue um, with a higher uh, metabolic rate. And so um, we require more cellular energy, especially when we've got hormone, hormone kind of like challenges going on through the timing of, um, of menopause. It actually, the sixth thing, it actually makes hormones. Um, it aids in the manufacture and of steroid hormones, including progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone. That may be why magnesium has been shown to reduce hot flushes. Um, by up to 50%. So if you're struggling with hot flushes and you haven't been um, having magnesium, then get onto that bad boy straight away. Number seven is it actually activates vitamin D. Without enough magnesium, vitamin D cannot do its job. So conversely, too much vitamin D supplementation can cause a magne magnesium deficiency. So they work together um, as best friends. Number eight, it actually slows aging. So I'm all about this one. <laughs> Get onto your magnesium. Um, it, pre it prevents telomere shortening and it reduces oxidative stress. So that enhances the production of glutathione and a younger us. So there are eight reasons why you will want to 
uh, get on the magnesium supplement um, if you haven't already. Uh, I Like I said, I personally have been using it for a number of years because as an athlete, it does aid in cramps. And that can be another symptom that people uh, do um, complain about with um, menopause is uh, the the you know the um, tired legs and the aching legs and aching joints and uh, just muscle cramps and things like that so that I guess could be number nine if we really wanted to add one in um, I personally have been using it for that and so I'm lucky that um, as menopause came through I already had that in my regime uh, but definitely, if you haven't already, make sure you get a good quality supplement. I'm studying nutrition and I have just done a module on vitamins and minerals. And not all uh, supplementation is the same. So I really do encourage, and I'll be, I'll be honest here, I used to go for the cheap ones. Uh, you know, I guess I love a bargain. However, if it's not good quality, it's not going to do a good job. So please um, like get a good quality brand. If you can get a pharmaceutical grade, um, you know, magnesium, I would definitely recommend it. It may be a bit more expensive, but it's going to do a much better job. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about. That's why you're actually adding it to your regime in the first place to actually get, you know, some results. So don't take that for granted. And this is coming from a self-confessed cheapest brand person. I now uh, do spend a little bit more and get a better quality supplement because it does make a difference. So I hope that has been helpful today. If you already use magnesium, please let us know in the comments. You can say, yes, I do. Uh, let, let us know why you started using it. Was it just because of menopause? Um, if you found this valuable, please uh, you know, share it with a friend or um, tag someone in this. Please, in advance, I thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, this is a way of other women finding out just little bits and pieces. Um, I really share things that have been important in my own journey. And I try and find things that will hopefully serve everyone and be helpful. Um, Personally, I think like nine reasons that we've talked about today, there's, there's a lot of good reasons there to um, give magnesium a shot if you're not already. Uh, but I would love to hear your feedback. And like I said, thank you in advance for subscribing to the channel because that's how other people can find out about um, menopause and we can share our journeys together. So if you're not already part of our menopause group, I have a Facebook group called Menopause Mentor and I try and update um, it every day with different tips and tricks, food. I am high protein, so I try and share a recipe at least once a week. Um, but just things that are hopefully valuable, it can be a safe place to share your journey. And uh, so if you haven't already, please join us over there. And um, I look forward to keeping in touch. It's a great, that also, that Facebook group is a great way to be able to stay in touch, uh, you know, and shoot, shoot messages, comments, um, and just be part of a community. So have a great rest of your day and thanks for tuning in.